Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Miss Tink. That's M-I-C-Z-N-I-M-I-S-S. Yes, let's go ahead and get into it because I gotta get to work in a few and I got two videos to pump out. I had a long day with my girl Natalie. I'm gonna miss you, girl. If you was on my Instagram or my Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. I'll see each other soon. Anyway, let's get into it. We're here to talk about love and hip hop New York. Okay, let's get into it. Uh what showcase showdown. I forgot what episode this is. I'll be in the description box. Yes. So, anyways, um the Creep Squad having a little sit down. Like I said, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Dirty Feet is me, me, of course. And uh, Carly Red, Cisco No Drew Hill, and Gay Michelle, Uncle Rogue. You know what I'm just saying? The ugly version. Anyways, so they talking whatever. And, you know, like I said, it was from the sneak peek from last week. So I didn't really go into that in my last video. So um, I guess Cisco No Drew Hill, someone you didn't apologize. I feel like all he wants is just an apology. He butt hurt, you know. He butt hurt that his friend got him, you know. He missed his booty buddy, you know, aka Uncle Rogue. So he butt hurt. He's like, man, you could have came to me before you gave her the dick. So he just mad. I'm just saying, and no, I'm not saying, you know, he's gay or nothing. I'm just saying the way he acting is real bitch made because y'all tripping over what? Again, you didn't even claim Diamond like that. You didn't even let that girl go upstairs to your house. I'm just saying. You was doing this girl in the car. You really that hurt, that bad? I guess, Cisco. I guess, Cisco, no Drew Hill. Uncle Broke is like, really, dog? I've been more of a friend than you. Are you serious? And then I felt what Uncle Broke was saying, well, nigga, you should before I even... For I can even apologize, and that's when Cisco no Drew Hill was like, "Yeah, well, I did my apologies," and that's when Uncle Broke apologized. So now they all back together, nigga. Bye, all y'all niggas. Whatever. Let's go and press play to the next scene. All right, we at the little studio, her studio, sis studio, whatever studio name is. Bianca doing her thing and all that black. She look good. All right, getting ready for the cipher. Yandy is happy about what she sees or whatever. I guess Yandy. Bianca, do your thing, girl. Then Yandy had some dancers coming and it was killing it. They was looking good. I was like, hmm. I was looking, can't lie, you know my gas. But hey, I liked what I saw. Let's go and press play to the next scene. All right, so DJ No Self Esteem is only fo focusing on this cipher ever since Yamaha and, you know, Plastic Flower ain't dealing with him no more. And, you know, so Cardi B comes in and is like, nigga, uh, look, I didn't did this thing for your video, so what's up with my music? That's basically what she's talking about. She's like, look, I know I had three, now I got 16. And DJ No Self Esteem is like, my nigga, look, all, well, Sum it up, he just saying that Cardi B is nothing but a dancer with a few songs. Nigga, you was wrong for that. But then he going to tell her, you know, put them on a, a flash drive and I'll listen to them. And if they trash, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know what it is, you know what I'm saying? And then talk about you need to learn the business. I guess, whatever, nigga. Cardi B, do your thing. Don't worry about that nigga. Do, do what you got to do. She's saying, you know what, it's all about business, whatever. And apparently, DJ No Self Esteem was looking at her titty. She's like, nah, nigga, whatever. It's a strictly business, no pleasure. And I felt her on that, but Cardi B, you don't need DJ No Self Esteem. You don't need that nigga. I'm just saying, you don't. But let's go ahead and press play to the next scene. All right, next we see Arsenio Hall, little sister, whatever, walking around her little apartment, whatever, and talking about she missed um, Lexi, talking about ever since that little incident that happened at the studio, she rethinking her partnership with Yandy, like, okay, girl, I guess, whatever. And then, you know, then um, invites Lexi over, okay, talk about what's going on, tell Lexi about what happened. Lexi like, really? Why was, uh, why was B at the studio? She juiced you? Girl. Yeah, she did. I mean, damn. You didn't say all that. I'd have been like, really, girl? The fuck was she there for? Really? Yeah, Yandy was wrong for that. For real. She just should. Damn, girl. Because then, you know, that's when Lexi went on talking about. Look like I'm going to have to be at the next studio session, you know. For what? So you can jump up? That's between Mo Bad Blues and B. That ain't got shit to do with you. Because Cardi B didn't jump into that. Girl, bye. Bye, girl. I understand if it was Lexi and, not Lexi, but uh, B and, um, Snow no flake, but Cardi B didn't jump in that, so what you gonna do? Uh, jump B? I guess, girl, whatever, bye. So then that's when um, Mo basically put it out there, like, look, I miss you and all of this stuff, you know. I don't know what it is with Yandy, I'm rethinking it, and BBOD -B need to get back together. And that's when Lex like, oh, really? Tables and turn, you know. She's happy being a solo artist. Tells her what, uh, you know, um, Raleigh did, Raleigh did for her about that fake-ass meeting with French Montana that Mona paid for, whatever. Or probably Raleigh sucked them off just to get, an, uh, you know, an interview interview or should I say you know some time to even listen to her track I'm just saying and you know she's happy now so she's like well I gotta think about it because apparently that's when Mo Bad Blues not Mo yeah Mo Bad Blues told her about Def Jam Con I'm like Def Jam who 
The reject um Def Jam record label. Okay, girl, talking about they interested in BBOD. I'm like, all right, girl, I guess. So, you know, she's like, I'm gonna have to think about it. And that's when Mo Bad Blues is like, well, you know, think about it fast, you know, before this opportunity passes by. I guess, girl. Lexi, you know you're gonna run all back. Rashida Lee was only doing that for the cameras, girl. She don't really give a fuck about you. Let's go and press play to the next scene. Remy is meeting Rashida Lee at the little dress thing that had girl to poop wasn't feeling it. And you know, um, they're talking about the whole thing with the dress or whatever. She's happy as far as Remy is happy that she picked Rashida Lee to pick her dress or whatever out because you know Rashida Lee knows what she likes. Then that's when Rashida Lee, instead of telling her about the dress first, asks about, you know, it's, a, it's all her sisters in the wedding, whatever, because they talk about uh Remy talking about she died in and you know, talking about all my sisters are skinny, you know, Rashida Lee, she a thick little some some, like a real mm, you know, she's like, well, I've been down. I done lost about 10 pounds. Girl, where in your head? Or maybe that's that hell that you done probably let loose with them. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Probably cut a few tracks off. Maybe that knocked a few 10 pounds off. But girl, where? I'm just saying. Y'all know what I'm talking about later on in the damn episode. Girl, please. 10 pounds. Shit. But um, then that's when she... um. Basically says, you know, about your sisters or whatever. And then apparently Remy had beef with one of her sisters called Ray. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, the fact checkers or whatever. And, um, you know, but how, you know, Pat Poose is about the whole family thing, you know, so she just let it go and she invited her sister to be in a wedding. And so, you know, she's going to be in the wedding. So, yeah. And then that's when, you know, she lets her know, Rashida Lee says, you know, I got your dress, you know. First she said she got a, got some bad news. Don't do that, Rashida Lee. I would have slapped you. Like, bitch, what you talking about bad news and you want to hit me with some good news? Talk about um the dress is ready and it's here and, you know, Remy Ma is all happy. Girl, Rashida Lee, don't play with me like that on my day, girl. But let's go and press play to the next scene. All right, Dirty Feet meets with his daughter, Whitney, and Whitney just basically put it out there. Look, I done met with Amina. I ain't happy about what I hear. Like, you such a good person. Like, you don't understand. You are spreading yourself thin amongst us kids. And, you know, Dirty Feet, he knows. That's why he's talking about he hurt. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about, you know, I mean, I've never really meant to hurt my daughter. All of this stuff, you know, the kids and everything. And I'm like, nigga, please, because you could have put something on it, okay? And Amina, you could have, not Amina, because you're married to her, but... Tara, you could fuck somebody else, too, instead of fucking him. I'm just saying. But, like, my sister, I am Latasha, says she did it for the kids. Bitch, bye. Anyways, so she's like, you know, starts getting emotional because he asked her how she felt or whatever. She's like, you know, I know you're a good person, but damn, like, you know. And then that's when she tells him, like, you know, can you get a vasectomy? If not for Tara, if not for Amina, but for us. Because, I mean, damn, no more babies. Like, what about us? What about us? We need our dad. And I'm like, I completely understand where you're coming from because, you know, you're talking about Amina's not speaking to him, which I felt her. And that, you know, now he's stressed about baby number nine. Nigga, please. You've been known to strap up. You just don't want to. Whatever, nigga. Yeah, you do got a problem. That's why you need to get a vasectomy. And he actually, you know, thought about, like, maybe that is a good idea. Yeah, nigga, it is. And that's if you did not get Amina pregnant with baby number 10. I'm just saying. We'll see you at the reunion. But, you know, I'm glad he agreed. And I felt bad for uh, Whitney for crying like that. Because, you know, she really is her. And I felt bad for the girl. But let's go and press play to the next scene. All right, next we see Mandisi, you know, at his house having this meeting. Why at the house, you know, with the convict collection sneakers? I'm just saying, nigga, was you on house arrest? Because all the kids is running around like you ain't have no nanny. I mean, damn. Then Yandy comes in or whatever, and, you know, that's when uh, Mandy, Lil Mandisi takes the kids in the back so he can have the rest of the meeting because, you know, he said he wants to leave a legacy for his kids so that way his kids ain't suffering because, you know, he's going to have to go away soon, which I feel him on that. But, nigga, you should have had that somewhere else. I'm just saying, do you have an office in that damn house of yours? Can you afford? one or nigga are you on house arrest anyways you and him talking or whatever you know and she's that's when he's like you know i'm happy that you're here for me or whatever you know and the babies you know i know it's hard for you then brings up the other baby mamas apparently there's no beef just i think yandy doesn't really speak to one of them named ashley or whatever but yandy overall wants everybody to come together and i felt to run that you know and that's when you know mandy was like that's why i married you because you know she doesn't look at the kids as her stepkids she looks at them looks at the kids as her kids which i feel on that and i'm like i'm happy to see that you know the wife ain't trying to have no drama with the baby mamas and that they just trying to get together and have a one big happy family for the kids so i felt around that you know that's one thing that i do like about yandy now let's go and first play to the next scene all right next cardi b is in the studio I like her songs no no flake comes by whatever you know to let her know about the cypher and all the stuff to check up on her and everything and then once she gets out of the studio whatever she's like hey and they all talking about the whole cypher apparently dj no self-esteem didn't ask cardi b to come at the cypher and i'm like oops but you know cardi b like you know what fuck this no no flake you're gonna have to do this one by yourself girl i'm good i'm gonna do me which i ain't blame i don't blame you girl i don't blame you then you know that's when cardi b hits her with the t about the whole restraining order apparently that 
that Mo Bad Blues filed on B, and she talking about she gonna let B know, or should I say put a Mo Bad Blues on blast, whatever, at the cipher. Why? What does that got to do with anything with you, girl, I guess? And then they start talking about Cardi B do to whatever, and Cardi B's like, look, I don't know, I got the marriage license sitting at the house, but I didn't even sign it. I don't know, you know, I just don't want to get, you know, in a situation where this nigga is weighing me down because everybody's telling her, you know, nigga, girl, worry about you, fuck that nigga, which I agree, Cardi B don't. Unless you really love that nigga, you really trust that nigga, girl, do you. Don't let nobody stop you. No nigga, no female, do you, baby girl, okay? I mean, I'm just saying. So, I hopefully she makes the right decision with that one. But I also felt what she was saying with Cardi B. I mean, not to Snow No Flake, like, girl, you don't go in there with all that drama unless they come at you with it. I'm just saying. It is what it is. And I felt on that. Like, girl, I guess Snow No Flake, sit down, girl. That, whatever. That ain't really no information to be. You should have just kept that as ammo. I'm just saying. So, let's go and press play to the next scene. All right, next we're at the cipher, y'all. Okay, so apparently the judges are Remy Ma, uh, Broke, mm hmm, Success, and what's the other one? Mano or whatever. That's what you know. DJ No Self Esteem got. You know, Mona done. You know, paid a lot of people to come out or whatever. You know, or maybe they actually there to see Remy. You never know. Remy is really the only real celebrity out of the whole crowd. I'm just saying, all the judges and Mano too. I think y'all correct me if I'm wrong because I think I heard a song about Mano before. I don't know, but anyways. So, you know, um, before they even get the cypher started, apparently Rashida Lee is there, uh, Yandy's there, Bianca there, Yandy, uh, Yandy, I like the thing, I thought she looked cute, but girl, that fake rabbit, girl, get that shit off, girl, I guess, girl, was, was, was that Angela Simmons collection, you know, the foofy, you know, the fake fur, cause if not, girl, get that rabbit somewhere and get on somewhere, girl, I guess, girl, that damn rabbit fur, anyways, um, that's when, um, Bianca, she looked cute or whatever. I like the, you know, and then Mo, Mo and BBOD, no. Mo Bad Blues, that blue head, girl, no. Lexi, y'all look like some damn reject sister soldiers. I'm just saying, girl, no ma'am, some reject Black Panthers. Let me, girl, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Y'all forgive me. No. Anyways, so um, before they can even get anything started, apparently Yandy's people was some beefing with Rashida Lee people at some club, whatever. So Rashida Lee just... Throws a bottle at the girl and snatched the girl up. Rashida Lee, what the hell? This is about business. You, I felt Yandy on that. You're supposed to be manager and you doing all this beef or whatever. Remy looking like what? So, you know, they escort her out or whatever. I guess, girl. Uh, Remy goes check on Rashida Lee to see what was going on. And that's when uh, Rashida Lee was like, remember I told you about them girls or whatever? And I told you when I seen them, I was going to get them. Well, that was them. Because Remy wanted to see what's going on because she ain't got time for the beef at her wedding. Girl, you should have been seen that before you put them two together, girl, I guess. So then after she talks to Remy and tells Remy goodnight, not Remy, but Rashida Lee, she goes talk to Yandy. Yandy's like, I didn't know this girl, but my thing is you throwing a bottle. This ain't the time. It's the place when I'm here. I'm all about work. I agree on that too. So, hey, it is what it is. So they get on with the performance, and first we see, you know, uh, I guess uh, Lexi going up first, making the announcement that her and, uh, not Lexi, but Mo, making the announcement that uh, BBOD is back together. I guess, girl, you was just a hype man, and, you know, doing to a little backtrack that Lexi was lip syncing or trying to sound good to, I guess. Then we got, you know, Snow No Flake. She did all right. That Never Never, it was kind of catchy. You did all right. Then we got um, some fillers. I didn't know who they was. They was, okay, the little fillers that Mona wanted them to get their 15 second of fame, okay. Then we got Bianca. Bianca was the one that had the dancers, everything. And she did her thing. She looked sexy. I thought that was really nice. Now, after that whole thing, they all going back and forth. Uncle Broke don't really see it for Mariah Lynn, but, you know, it is what it is. They go back there. First, Bianca's congratulating Mariah Lynn, and that's when BBOD go back there, and that's when Mariah Lynn takes it upon herself to show what the restraining order thing is. And, girl, this whole little fake cat fight, I guess, but I'm with Mariah Lynn. Why y'all keep holding me back? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they walk out or whatever. Y'all didn't really do nothing. None of y'all. No four. None of y'all four. And Bianca's like, girl, chill out. You trying to fight this girl so much, girl, chill out. This is, just worry about who's going to win this cypher, girl, I guess. And I felt on that because wasting all this energy trying to punch Mo. Girl, please, I don't care what nobody say. I think Mo Bad Blues will probably crack your face in, okay? Just spill all that egg white. Stop it, girl. Anyways, how's it go off or whatever? They didn't really say who won. That's why they left it in suspense. But I guess we should see what happened next week, y'all. Anyways, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm Miss Tink. That's in my ZZ, not in my SS. You already know. Check out my sister's website, my cousin website, and blog spot. My girl T, my girl Tamaya, my girl Jasmine Washington. Of course, official Maharashi, and of course, Justin J1232. The channel is Natural Polo Sisters, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one.
Bye.